So now in this video, we're just going to take a look at a, I don't know how common it is. I don't see it a lot, but a 100 ohm resistor. We have the uh, basic property. If you put one volt across it, or for each volt across it, I should say, you get 10 milliamps of current through it. So two volts, 20 milliamps, three volts, 30 milliamps, pretty straightforward, 3.5, 35 milliamps. So that's a one divided by 100 equals 0 0.01 amps, which we converted to milliamps there. Um, so you multiply that times the voltage, the current to get the wattage, which uh, 0.01 amps times one volt is 0 0.01 watt. Uh, pretty straightforward there. We got uh, twice the voltage, twice the current. When we bump it up to uh, two volts, you multiply them together, you got four times as much uh, heat being generated. Hopefully that makes sense, 0 0.04 watts. And then uh, 3 volts, 0 0.09 watts, getting pretty warm there. So we're not going to bump it up a whole other volt. We're going to go to 3.5 volts for 35 milliamps. And we'll end up with 0 0.1225 uh, watts, which is uh, pretty much where we should stop raising the voltage across there. That gives us half, if it's a quarter watt resistor, that is. That's a maximum of 0.25 watts. That's maximum, though you recommend you stay halfway below that, which that does. We meet that criteria. If you need more current from a 100 ohm uh, resistor, because you're going to put more voltage across it, you can use a higher wattage resistor, but uh, quarter watts are by far the most common. When it comes to the uh, color code, so we'll do uh, the blue one first. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the tolerance band is. This means whatever value we have here, you can expect 1% higher or lower from these uh, blue resistors. And we got uh, brown for one there, so it still means one black for zero, and then black for zero, so 100, but we have the multiplier here. If it's black, it's easiest just to uh, think of it as zero zeros. There's no more zeros afterwards, you just have your number, but uh, technically it's times one. So 100 times one is 100, 100 ohm resistor. The uh, beige resistor, so these are less common, I don't usually show them uh, too much, um, but uh, we got one, and then that is a black band there. I tried to change the color a little bit from the uh, body, but it's hard to tell there. Um, that's another band. So one, zero. Now we got the one here, but that's the multiplier. So you can think of it as times 10, or since it's one, one more zero. So one, zero, one more zero, one, zero, zero, 100. Gold means a 5% tolerance, so it could be expected to be 5% higher or lower. So 105 or uh, 95 uh, might be possible. So in any case, that's really about it. If you need a, a fair amount of current, as long as you don't put too much uh, voltage uh, through it, um, fair amount of current for the circuits that I normally do. It's not high current by any means, but in any case, it's uh, slightly higher than normal for my circuits. You could use a 100 ohm resistor if you do it right. You just can't have uh, too much voltage across it. There's a number of ways um, to do that, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that in this video. Just getting an idea of what we can expect out of a 100 ohm resistor. So, hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see ya in the next video.